Hello to all of my Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy solar eclipse and also happy new moon in Libra. Let's get right to your reading, Virgos. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say, Virgos. Let us see. Don't forget to set your intentions every single day, Virgos. Talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your bird chart. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Somebody feels like, you know, somebody, people are leaving them out. Two energies in particular. Somebody feels like they're being left out of something. Here we have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the King of Wands. We also have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. Oops. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. And we also have Madre Tierra. So Source is saying to you, instead of feeling left out in the cold, this is a great time during this new moon phase to just kind of relax your mind as much as you possibly can and start speaking, you know, like taking notes of the downloads that you're getting in dreams, the downloads you're getting just kind of in your quiet time because Source is the one that's sending you the messages, like telling you what's really going on, right? And so just let your mind... Um, be free. There are some other, where you think that you're being left out, somebody thinks that there's two energies that feel like they're being left out of your life, right? So there's always this in-between type of energy that is like the um, kind of go-between. There's there's a leader and there's a follower, right? And there's a go, the, the, the lead, I mean, the follower is the one that's the go-between, almost like the person who in a way feels like they're kind of the peacemaker here but their energy actually heightens the the insecurity in some way right because <clears throat> excuse me because the goal is to stay connected to you the 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 leader of the two energies the goal is to stay connected to you because money, it either, it just, either these things are involved. It could be several of these things. Money is involved. Um, stability is involved. Security is involved. And when I say security, I mean like wanting to be connected to family, almost like a person who says, who brags about being connected to family, but doesn't really have a solid relationship with family. If that makes sense to somebody, it, it's like saying, oh yeah, uh, it, it's, 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 uh, it's really hurt, but it's kind of wrapped in arrogance almost. Like, yeah, we, you know, growing up, we had this big family and such and such and such and such, but I don't really mess with them like that anymore. I, I reach out to them whenever I want them to, right? Or if, um, or if because to some degree, they're the ones that feel left out, right? So you could think that you're left out of something, but somebody else feels left out of your life, if that makes sense to you. So Source is saying, it's okay to go ahead and walk through your vault door because the one that's the follower that kind of comes across as the in-between riding the fence that energy actually makes it worse just because they're riding the fence. They're not really keeping the peace. They're actually increasing fear, doubt, uncertainty, um, causing impatience, causing all kinds of stuff because they're riding the fence, taking stories back and forth and that kind of thing. So Source is saying to you, instead of you looking for people's approval, recognize that you've already been approved by Source. And that's what Source is trying to tell somebody when this incoming information is coming, you know, it's incoming information about your money and about moving on from something, that solar eclipse was the reset, a reset into new you. You have a lot of great ideas moving forward, but those ideas, when you feel left out of people's lives, can also melt like this fire to this snow. See this snow here? It's like melting these ideas. Okay, so what is behind your vault door? So I just want somebody to really sit down through the, the technique of visualization and seeing yourself moving throughout, moving into opening up your vault door, like literally visualize yourself coming in from out of the cold, the cold, right? So like, see how these two energies here? right so this this person back here is kind of sort of pulling the strings for this person like this person right here and it could be a man or a woman doesn't really matter what the gender is 
It's a spirit though. One feels like, okay, they're closer to you than the other, but this one right here still is trying to be indirectly connected to you, right? But both are really, like I said, this energy right here is just as bad as this energy right here. And this one right here could be operating in fear, doubt, insecurity, impatience. They could be connected to, they want to stay connected to you because there's some kind of a financial benefit. Maybe there's a will or maybe you're paying bills or maybe there's a potential, you know, that kind of thing. So source is saying to you, it's okay for you to say, I need to go ahead and move through my vault door without either, without either. And what I mean by that is the one that you get along with the most, because it, it's, a, it's a type of spirit, recognize that you're going to have to keep certain things close to the cuff because that keeps them having access to the other side. So let's say, for instance, you're not ready to cut somebody off. And let's say um, there's a child involved. Maybe it's an adult child or a little child. Certain things you need to learn how to keep close to the cuff. You know how sometimes adults talk freely around kids, right? So certain things you're going to have to make is, is off the kind of, what's the word I'm looking for, the phrase I'm looking for? You're going to have to make it not you know, available or accessible to whether it's an adult child or little child as to what's going on in your life. Like keep the focus on them. Don't ask about the other person that you know that is the leader of that, right? Just, you know, all the attention and focus on them. If they want to try to tell you something about it, let's just focus on you. This is your time, right? Just focusing on you, right? So that's where the breakthrough is going to come in because if you're not ready to cut off, you know, loved ones or certain types of people, then again, just keeping it, just being being mindful that when I talk about certain things, and this is you all putting your checklist together, when I talk about certain things, somehow the information comes back distorted. Somehow it comes back to you distorted, right? So people misinterpret silence all the time, but if you didn't say anything or you didn't allude to something, source is saying to you, then you don't have anything to worry about. You just know people will, even if it's a truth, people will make up a lie. Even if you didn't say anything, people will make up a lie. So they'll create whatever they want to create because that's what they're trying to project, whoever it is, onto you. But source says you'll get all the information directly from source, but you're also getting information about how to increase your uh, your your wealth as well, how to circulate your wealth, um, um, Virgos. So I do see somebody starting a business, a healing business. Actually, I see somebody starting a healing business, and that's going to take your mind away from all of the the games that people are playing, the games that this one in particular is playing. It's like this person right here. You ever see the, the dolls be like a wind-up doll or like a person who puts their hand in somebody's back and kind of controls the narrative? That's kind of what this is, right? So this one right here seems, you know, pure as snow, right? But this one right here, you can see the color is a little tainted, right? So sources, you already know what it is. Sources saying you know what it is. Even if it is an innocent child involved, you're still going to have to be careful of what you say and just keep it focused on them, you know, so that, or if this one seems, or the adult seems innocent, they're still getting all of this. You're not trying to add stress to people's lives. So you know what it is. So I do see somebody starting a healing business. Here we have healing here. So as you're closing out cycles, again, doesn't always mean you're cutting people off, even if it's in the workplace when you're dealing with interact, when interacting with people, um, unless you decide to cut, depend, and it's your universe, you have to decide. But I do see you closing out cycles in love and cutting out all obstacles, all of them. Here we also have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is where you stay on your throne. You're staying on your throne, especially with this one here, because this one right here, you're not trying to defend your side of a makeup or make-believe story. You know what I'm saying, Virgos? You're not trying to defend anything. You're just being a very loving. You're not trying to cause anybody any unnecessary stress. You're not trying to find out anything or whatever. And so you'll start to see, you'll start to see how source handles everything. Like source is going to keep this energy right here distracted because you decide, well, that's what it's going to feel like to you because you've decided to move on and close out that cycle of feeling like I made all of these mistakes. I feel foolish. I feel this and that. Source is saying fool and upright is a person who feels changed, liberated, and free. 
Why? Because you've moved on and you've taken some of these great ideas that Source is sending you with this Eight of Pentacles, all of these great ideas, and you're turning that into profit to create opportunities and jobs for other people, just for in general, right? And so something that you're doing is healing. Actually, you're doing your part to heal the world, right? So here we have the Five of Swords. Source says, stop replaying the past over and over and over again. It's, it may be hard for somebody, but... If you can sit down, Virgo, and write out a list, you'll realize how much you're doing it, like on repeat, right? But if you can write out a list and you can say, oh gosh, you know, these certain thoughts just keep coming up in my mind. All right, so source, I, these are the thoughts I need to replace with something positive, right? Something that's just on repeat in your mind, like get it out, write it down on a sheet of paper. And so you'll start to realize, wow, the same thing. And then I guarantee you, if you've been saying the same thing to this one right here, you're playing a role in contaminating their mind because this one right here is already contaminating them. So you're not trying to, like I said, you, you haven't stepped down off of your throne to act like the person that is in control. I mean, the person who's trying to control somebody, you're right here putting feelers out. You're putting feelers out. So for instance, let me give somebody an example. Let's say for instance, the one that's in, let's say this one right here. You have a dream that this one is under an enormous amount of stress for a reason, right? And because you know how this one is and you have downloads and you feel like through a dream or through a feel, I have a real strong feeling that this one is under stress, right? Your mind may automatically go to this energy right here because your mind may think, I know they're telling them something. I know they're just clouding their mind and, and their head with something. And so you call this one, right? Again, you're not talking about this one. You just call this one and say, hey, you know, I was thinking about you. How's everything going? You know, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. And they say, oh, you know, I was a little stressed out because, you know, I had applied for something and didn't come through the way that I wanted it to come through, right? Question, answer. And you say, well, how's everything else going? They say, oh, everything else is fine. You know, I've been resting and so on and so forth, right? You already know this spirit, but you don't want to always assume that it's always this spirit in their ear. It could be something else that's going on in their lives. So you have to be creative and asking questions. Just okay. Well, you need anything? Just let me know. That's it. Okay. You have a good day and move on. Here we have the Queen of Swords and also the Six of Swords. So I see some movement. You sailing away from the depth of disappointment that you have in this energy right here. Because you already know what they're about, but Source is already working on them. Because every time this one tries to say to this one something about you, this one is going to say, um, actually, Virgo didn't say anything about you. Virgo's living Virgo's life, right? Right? So again, that's how you're sailing away from the depth of disappointment because Source is working on the one in the brown jacket and you're still on your throne. Still in your throne, queen of swords, carefully vetting your thoughts. Like I said, we have, we have downloads. We have sometimes downloads about loved ones that cause us, an, cause us a lot of anxiety. And because they didn't mention the one in the brown jacket doesn't mean that they're lying to you. It could literally be something else that's going on in their life. Maybe they didn't get the job. Maybe they're, you know, having a rough time with their significant other. Maybe, you know the neighbor acting crazy, you know, maybe they had a pet that, that died. I mean, it's a lot of things that's going on. So you don't want to give this one that much power, if that makes sense. Okay. So, yeah. So I do see you sailing away from the depth of disappointment. And like I said before, staying on your throne, that's where the breakthrough is going to come in for you. Because again, you're not, you're not adding to anybody's stress. You're just moving on with your life, just moving on with your life, healing. So here we have the six of swords, the ace of swords, the ace of coins, the nine of wands, the six of wands, and the three of wands. All right now. So six of wands, oh, six of swords came out twice, right? So again, you're moving on from both of them. You're not, you know, like I said, you're saying, okay, well, if this one in the white wants to tell me something, okay, um, there is a safe space in a, in a, a soft landing, but I'm not asking about the one in the brown. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. So it's been an uphill climb for some people. Um, here we have the uh, six of wands and I see victoriously you're doing it again. Like you're, you're saying, okay, I, I was able to do this. I was able to get as far away from it. I'm just working on myself. But I'm telling you, since you all like to create, you know, like write down things and meticulously look at everything, 
Think about how many times a negative thought about the one in brown comes across your mind. It's like you don't want to attach everything. That's giving that energy power. You don't want to attach e any negative thought to every negative thought as it relates to the one in white about the one in brown. Hopefully that makes sense. So I do see you victoriously saying I need to move on from all of this. And I'm taking a leap of faith into my own future because I was born to inspire. We also have the nine of wands. And so somebody's on the other side of a long and arduous journey. And I'm telling you what will keep calling you back is the storm you went through with the one in brown. And also worrying about the one in white. That will keep you thinking in your mind, I, I can do this. I'm on the other side. I, I'm in the light. But again, you don't want to feed that fire by overthinking. It's like putting more air onto a fire and that fire is just growing out of control. So that's where your breakthrough is coming in. You have two breakthroughs here. You have two breakthroughs here. One day, the one in white is going to tell you, you know, um, you know, very in a very favorable way that they really appreciate you because something about you seems different. You've changed. Why? Because you're focusing on your healing and also focusing on your abilities, your gift of healing other people. And you've been working very hard and Source is going to reward you financially for it. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yes, Virgo. So I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart. The moon is moving into Scorpio. It's currently in Libra if you're watching it on Saturday, um, uh, Friday or Saturday. And Sunday is going to be in Scorpio. So I'm going to give you the question for the moon in Scorpio. Because Scorpio's ruling planet, Pluto, Scorpio's ruled by two planets, right? Pluto and Mars. Um, Mars is not retrograde, but Pluto has been retrograde from May 1st to October 10th. So currently it's not retrograde, but that's the emotional roller coaster planet because it's the planet of power and transformation. It's the planet of control, transformation, metamorphosis, survival, crisis, profound change, power, secrets, cycles of birth and death you know, purging and renewing. And so the assumption here is because this one right here has been so hurt and running around hurting other people that this one is holding on to secrets, right? So part of your purging and renewing is saying if they're holding on to secrets, you know, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to move on with my life. But every time they talk to me, I'm only focusing on the goodness in them, right? I'm not going to add any stress to their lives, right? So that's where your power lies, is that I'm not giving, I'm not giving power to the one in brown. Nine of cups, five of swords, knight of swords, eight of cups, four of pentacles, and nine of swords, right? Nine of swords, right? So the nightmare that you have awakened from, you've chosen to awaken from a nightmare because... I'm not giving all of this air to the one in brown. I'm not giving all the air to this one right here with the brown jacket on, right? I'm not going to worry about this one anymore, holding on to secrets, because this one will eventually feel safe enough because you're also building up your um, credibility also in their lives too, because it's not an assumption, especially if this one right here has been contaminating this one right here. And so... You adding more into the ear is making it worse. Was was making it worse, but now you're saying I'm not adding to that. I'm not. I'm not adding to the confusion. I'm removing myself from the confusion. Right? That's you woke up from a nightmare. So if they're going through something with brown coat, <laughs> and they're going through a nightmare, eventually they'll feel safe enough to turn and tell you. So you don't have to keep looking back and replaying it over and over and over again in your mind. Why? You wrote out your own list. What keeps coming up in my mind as it relates to them? right? Source is going to send you a lot of information, memories, all of those things. And so you're grateful to that because Source is the one that's telling you the truth. This one right here, this one right here, you know, could be in a state of confusion about this one because this one right here could have a very bullying, you know, easily fly off the handle kind of energy, right? So anyway, that's what I'm saying for you all. And that's what the breakthrough, like I said, breakthrough is going to come in. Another thing Source wants somebody to do is um, Five of Swords came out twice. Um, like I say, waking up from a nightmare. We also have the Knight of Swords. Again, Source is saying, get on your horse, get as far away from the negative thinking because even the negative thinking is giving the one in the brown coat power. 
I know they up to something. I know they got them stuck in a corner somewhere, just like standing over them in a very bullying kind of fashion and, and spitting venom into their ear. And now they thinking negatively of me. But again, every time they come to you, your power is, I know what the brown coat is on. I already know what kind of energy they're on, but the energy I'm on is I'm healing and I'm not trying to contribute to someone else's hurt. Here we have the nine of cups. So sit down and write out a list of nine things that um, you are truly grateful for. Even the power to wake yourself up out of a nightmare of overthinking and giving power, that much power to brown coat. Here we have the eight of cups. So I do see you focusing on, I see you focusing on your, uh, your purpose, your life purpose. And I do see you being a little bit more conservative with your time. A little bit more conservative with your times. Remember, five and four is nine. Nine is the number of death rebirth. So one, I'm going to stop overthinking, spending my time, spending my time feeling out, left out in the cold and overthinking what brown jacket is up to, right? So five and four is nine. And I'm going to get back to just... Because the number nine on the death side, you can go, you can, time is relative. So you can take years to grieve something, right? Because you're trying to figure things out. But once you decide, make a, a firm decision, I know exactly what it is because that's what's actually been happening. Your, clair, your clairvoyance and your psychic abilities are being sharpened while you're in that mourning stage. And so on the rebirth side, you're saying, okay, this is the rebirth that I have. I can get back to a person who is... Um, warm spirit is someone who pretty much gets along with everybody because I already know what I already know what the game is. I'm not I'm not playing a game with brown coat. Right? Very much the same as in a workplace. When you know who's pulling the when you know who's pulling the strings and every and these people are confused. They don't know really what side to be on. You don't make them choose a side. You be consistent in your in your purity. You be consistent in your behavior. And this one right here this one right here will eventually be left by themselves, right? But either way, you're going on about your business. So you're not existing in five and four of pentacles where you're spending all of this time thinking, oh, I got to, yeah, I got to, you know. Brown jacket, like I said before, is also sources extending brown jacket grace as well. So remember, we're not other people's gods. Eventually, White coat will say, wow, you know what? Uh, Virgo hasn't said anything negative at all about brown jacket. It's only brown jacket that's talking about Virgo. You don't need to defend anything. Even if a brown jacket came to you in a, in a, you know, in a, you know, stressed out. Oh, guess what? Guess what? You know, because that's why, you know, brown coat told me whatever. It's like, you know what? I'm not trying to change your mind. If you can, you can just go by how the, our interaction, I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm not trying to, if that's what you want to believe, I have no control over that. Well, you don't, you want to clear it up? Mm -mm, not interested in clearing it up. I'll let you believe whatever you want to believe. Here we have the two of cups, the devil card, the two of pentacles, nine of pentacles, page of wands and four of wands. Yep. So four of wands. I do see new and exuberant love coming across somebody's path. I do see you celebrating something, feeling like a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. And there's the devil card. The devil card is the devil card. That's why source is saying to you, you're closing out a cycle of fear and doubt. Those are your demons, right? And insecurities. That's what you're closing out. You're not calling another person a devil. Because again, when you're hurt and you feel left out, you would love to call brown jacket devil. Look at that demon. I know that demon sitting around other demons and they're talking sources saying release all of that. Re release it because those are your fear and your doubt. And the more and more you overthink it and talk about it, guess what? You're feeding your own demons. <laughs> they come, they are alive and well. They talking about it. So sources say get ready for a great life. Financial independence. Financial independence. Congratulations to you. Don't step down off of your throne. Yep. This is what somebody's sitting over with all these ideas. Somebody's like, I know they being strong armed. I know this is happening. And so it's just like, no, actually I'm sending you some new ideas about how you can heal other people. So all these ideas coming through, all this fire coming through is meant to motivate you, not cause any more confusion. Those are the demons. The devil is the author of confusion. Source, when it comes to you, it's crystal clear. I got a clear path blazed for you, ready for wherever you're trying to go. 
And so here we have the two of pentacles, an additional stream of income is coming your way in the form of you healing people. And we have the two of cups and a soulmate is helping you with that, right? Soulmate can be a person that's, you all are sitting around talking about ideas, not talking about people. What business, what, what, how, what kind of, what kind of business can you put together? Can I, can I, you know, business people talk about, you know, I have this accountant that I, that I work with that's done great work with me. You know, I have this attorney, I have a friend that's, you know, that's in this line of work that can help you with this, constantly referring you to energies that can help you, not hurt you, to take your mind off of feeling left out of something. So let's get ready to close it out. So Virgo, part of somebody's soulmate coming across your path, um, and this is the two of cups here, maybe you all are having tea together, maybe you all are having coffee together, um, is going to help you to, um, they're helping you to heal while you're helping them to heal from something, right? And it's not being dismissive of actually brown jacket or even white coat, white coat or brown coat right in this this instance here it's more or less like let's let's make a pact that we're talking about things that's going to keep us on our throne and not we're not trying to tear anybody down we're not trying to drag them down and we're not letting them drag us down right by making a person feel like they're not smart enough to get it they don't understand what's really happening with brown coat you know not making them feel bad so that's what the soulmate energy coming across your path is helping you to do so that's the that's the frequency i see you on so let's see what else we got going on here so we can go ahead and get ready to close this out yeah let's get ready to close this out so yeah i do see somebody um like i said celebrating something that's where the cake is right one two things you're celebrating is releasing the stress off of your shoulders from two energies, right? But then two other things that you could be welcoming is that new love and maybe marriage for somebody or celebrating winning of a court case or celebrating a new job or celebrating a, buying a house or moving. You, you, you're you leaving room open for you to celebrate your life. You're moving on with your life. So maybe your business is taking off. Maybe you're writing a book or writing a music, writing songs or poetry. You're celebrating something. You're using that space wisely. You're circulating that. Here we have allowing radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed could come next. Yep. So what's needed can come next, right? Yeah. Create art. Like I said, somebody's creating some kind of art and that's what's going to make someone some money. And that art is healing people, whether, like I said, it's art in painting, art in drawing, art in a book, poetry, um, whatever it is. Um, it's That's what's creating art in reading cards. You know, whatever it is, I see it making you money to help to heal people, to help take their focus off of other things, right? Creation. Here we have number six. Through the darkness, I crossed and still found myself in the presence of life, right? So it could be someone's child. But look, check this out. So when we talk about the number 15, this this, this video is dated for the 15th of, um, of October through the 15th of November. One in five is six. Six is the number. It's in the shape of a pregnant person, right? This number six right here, right? You're giving birth to something, but there's a rebirth for yourself, right? Remember we talked about Pluto being Scorpio's, one of Scorpio's ruling planet. It literally can cause the same kind of emotional wounding as... Um, uh, that anxiety that can cause you to feel nauseated, right? Or nauseous. The, um, the stress of going through a rebirth for a lot of people, and I'm talking about men and women, Virgos, can really make you feel sick to your stomach. Like, I know something big is coming. I've already stepped out in faith. I know something big is coming. So if you feel sick to your stomach or you feel nauseous or anything like that, there's things that you can do to relieve your stress. Like I said before, replacing those negative thoughts with positive thoughts, recognizing that you're not trying to add to somebody else's stress. Um, this is a lot of things. You can look those up, you know, online. You know, stress kills, right? And get yourself prepared for Source's luminous plan for your life. And that's what I see for you. And also 15. So 15, 1 and 5 is 6. But the number 15 
uh, means that you have great magnetism and also you carry, you carry creation, right? Great magnetism, you carry enchantment in everything that you do, means that you are aligned with music, drama, and or art with a, um, a um, charismatic flair, um, it makes you compelling. It makes you magnetic. Like people really want your nurturing energy, but you're choosing, I'm not going to stress myself out by nurturing drama, unnecessary drama, when I can be getting paid for creating, you know, like if, unless you're going to a Broadway play or off Broadway play, or whether you're going to your local play or, you know, drama in a, in a movie that you're watching online, it, it's a choice for you to, but you choose not to entertain brown jackets drama and you're basically in the kindest possible way you know letting white jacket know or white coat know i'm not entertaining that i'm not here to try to clear up any rumors you can believe what you want to believe i'm not i'm not i'm I'm, I'm I'm that's not even i'm on i'm not on that frequency so that's the that's the that's what i have for you uh let's see if there's anything else that 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 um yeah. So look at the bigger picture. That's right. There's a lot of people out here that need your experience and need your healing. So when you connect with your, uh, when you connect, somebody's going to feel very lucky too. But when you connect with your soulmate, and it can be anybody, it can be a friend, good friend, love interest, whomever. When you connect with your soulmate and you all are talking about all of these great ideas, I'm telling you, it may start out as feeling like there's a bond through trauma, but the more and more you all connect, the less and less you're going to talk about the trauma, the traumatic experience until that's really no more. It's just more of like, like you're doing with white jacket when you're talking about them is every, are you good? Is everything Okay. And yes or no, is there anything I can help you with? But we're not going to sit in that low space talking negative about somebody. Because obviously there's a whole lot more to talk about. 555, five, five, I am optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life experience, Virgo, and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. That's right. Be open and stay positive. Last card, and let's close it out. Be open and stay positive. So lots of blessings coming across your path. Um, and also, people are feeling that you're not operating in fear. That's also that's also the, the effect of it, too, of standing on your throne. You're sending out such good, positive vibes into the universe that everybody is feeling it. And so, again, if Brown Coat wants to keep talking about stuff, guess what? They're going to eventually, when they get to that frequency, they'll feel the vibrations, too. So here we have affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose, period. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. Yeah, you are enough. Always have been, always will be. So focus on your purpose. I see this is what I have for you, Virgos. Again, happy, um, happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. And I will see you on Motivational Monday. Bye.